Hello my friends, welcome to Tassel Tuesday. I wanted to mention before I get into the video that this is an open collaboration and please go check out all of the collaborators. They will be listed in my description box. Some collaborators upload later in the day so I won't get their videos into my description box until later in the day and sometimes I don't get them in until the evening but I do the very best that I can with that. So I wanted to mention last week we made a tassel and then I made two tassel kits that matched the tassel that I made and I also asked for ideas or suggestions if anybody wanted me to make a particular type of tassel or a particular color of a tassel and Charisse means grace she suggested that I do a neon green and peach so I love taking your guys's suggestions and I think that that's something that I'd like to continue to do but what I'll have to do is go through my stash see what I have and then make something as close to your suggestion as I possibly can. But if you'd like to, let's have fun with it. Feel free to give me color combos, styles, whatever. And if I have what I need to make your suggestion, then I will do the best that I can to do that. And then hopefully I will have enough materials to be able to make some kits as well. So if you would like to do a tassel, but you don't have the materials, then you can go to my Etsy shop and you can purchase a kit and then you can refer back to the video if you would like, you know, kind of a how-to on how to create the tassel. So I just wanted to mention all that before we get into the video. Friends, so this fabric is vintage cotton. I absolutely love it. It is from the 1960s or 1970s and it would be my guess that it would be probably the late 60s is my guess. So it's really fun. It's got not only the neon-ish greens, but it's got this, and it's not quite peach, but it's bright. And I just, I love this fabric. I have made tassels out of this fabric before. And you know, we're getting into summertime. It is perfect for summer. So if somebody is making just wants a nice summery tassel hanging in the room just to bring them a little splash of happiness. I think it's great for that. I also think that this would be great for a party decoration. If somebody is making a junk journal that has a summer vibe to it, I think it's perfect for that. I also use tassels as embellishments for gift bags and boxes and it has an amazing impact. So, you know, I, I just, for me, I just love tassels. I think that they, and I mentioned this in my last video, I feel like tassels have a personality and they're just happy. So I love them and of course that's why I make them. And I use them on a variety of things. I have, and I'll show you guys sometime, but in my dining room, and sorry about my scratchy throat this morning, it doesn't feel scratchy, but I notice it sounds scratchy. But in my dining room, I have a very, like I have a window covering, but it's, it's very like plain. So all of the tassels that you guys have gifted to me, I have hanging across it, and it's just such happy perfection. And I love, I love it because when I walk in my dining room, I see you guys everywhere and it's, it's just a lot of fun. So, um, you know, I just thought I'd share that with you. Anyway, uh, tassels, I make them and I do crisscross because I like the way that it makes the fibers, it makes them not flat. It makes them it makes it, when you start to pull the tassel together, it makes it fluffier. And I hope that makes sense to you. But if you lay them flat, then you fold them over and it's just kind of a, a flat tassel. It's not, it's not real puffy or anything like that. And I like, and most of my friends on here that know me, they know that usually I make a puff top, not always, but usually I do because, you know, that's, that's just what I like. They make me the happiest. So, although I have made some other types of tassels that are also a lot of fun and they make me happy too and they're not necessarily puff tops. 
So anyway, I, I don't even know how many of these fibers I laid out, but now we're gonna go ahead and put in some of our neon green. So I know that some of you have seen this part many times, so I am doing the, you know, fast motion on it. For those of you that are new, um, this is how I create a tassel, and if you would like a real-time version or a little bit more of a tutorial, I will link into my description box my Tassel Tuesday videos, and last week's I believe was a little bit more of a tutorial, like I really kind of walked through it and, and talked about it. Alright friends, so I went and gathered, I went to look for everything that I had that maybe had green or peach or actually this is, you know, let's be honest, this leans a little bit more towards a tangerine than a peach, even though the request was peach. I, I have to go with what I've got in my stash, right? <laughs> and that's what I have. So I went to my beads and actually these are my I need three of each of everything so these are ones that I didn't have three of each of even though this bright green is kind of perfect but I didn't have that but I do have three of these and I think let me move is this in yeah uh, I think that this will go quite well with it gives it a little bling so those are kind of good then I thought well I need I need more so I thought well what do I have and I was like I remembered I have buttons so I thought what we would do, I grabbed all the buttons that had green or I was trying to get into the peach or orange family. And so this is what I found. So let actually, these kind of go nicely. So I don't mind these, all, although these have some aqua in them. And this fabric does have pink and purple, but it does not have aqua. So I don't know, I mean, it doesn't look bad but I'd prefer it if it was a different color. So let's check out the other ones. We've got this, but this has, it's got some of the orange around the edges, which is fine, and the pink matches. So that's not bad, and it definitely shows up. Then when we get smaller, we've got this one, and this is pretty bright, and it's got, oops, I'm trying to lay it there so you can see it. It's got some of the orange in it. Obviously, it's got bright pink, and then it's got some sort of a green around the edges. That's not bad. I pulled these, they're pretty psychedelic. I just wanted to test them. They definitely give it a punch, but I feel like the style is different, so let's not consider those anymore. Then we've got these, and they really do have kind of orangey, peachy, then also yellow, but then also some blue. So, I don't know, thinking about these. And then I pulled these because these have pink and orange in them. And they're butterflies. And this is so, like, um, summery that I thought this could work. Let's leave one of these on. Ultimately, we'd have two, but I'd have them in different spots. So let's just pretend, you know, this is, this is where they are. Let's just pretend that. And then let's think about this. The light one works, but like there's not a punch. I'm almost feeling like we need a little bit of a punch. Um, it looks pretty with that though. Hmm. Anyway, let's toss one of these gems on here if we can get it to stay, just so we can kind of see what our color palette is looking like. Let's plop one of these on. We're just testing it, just testing the waters here. All right, I think we have one of each of those on there. What do you guys think? You know, I actually like this one, even though it's got blue in it, I don't know. The pink is like spot on, and I feel like it works. So we could do one of those. Do you guys think this one's too dark? It's a little bit much, isn't it? Let's not do those, it's a little bit much. All right, and then what do we think about this one? Is this too much too? 
It's kind of a lot. Let's get rid of those. My little Jemmy fell down. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so let's do a combination of that, the butterflies, that, and this. Because that's really not that much going on there. I think I'm liking that. And then if we feel like once we have those on, if we feel like we need more, then we can add some of those other ones. But let's, let's do these. And friends, I wanted to show you that I had some of this neon green in my stash and I actually got this from BB Craft. And actually, speaking of BB Craft, I have a $5 coupon in my description box that you can use. It's a, it's a, like a coupon code that you can use if you want to shop there and get $5 off. So I feel like this will fit through here. Yeah, so we're gonna use the neon green to thread our buttons. Uh, it'll definitely be able to thread the butterflies. Don't think it'll work on these little buttons, but let me see. I actually might be able to get it through. If not, I'll use thread. So um, that's what I'm gonna do with that. But I'm gonna get my game plan together and I'll be right back. All right, my friends, I wanted to play around with it a little bit before I showed you how I did it on camera because I wanted to experiment a little bit. So here's our tassel. And I put, I wanted to see how this big one fit on a bulb pin and it fit perfect, you guys. So I attached this here. So that's how I'll do it in the kit. I will, I'll put this on here for you and put that in the kit. And then you can put it wherever on your tassel that you want. Then, I actually wanted to test and see how did a butterfly work on the ball pin and it works great. So that's another one that you can literally put it wherever you want. So the butterfly will come with a ball pin, right? Then I took my neon thread. It's not really thread, I don't know what that is. But anyways, I put the buttons on it. So I did the butterfly and then I did the little one and I did it all in the same strand and then I tied the strand around the tassel and so they just hang there. I'll take some still shots so you can see how everything hangs and uh, it looks really cute and I don't think we need any more because I think actually with all of this, you know, it's just kind of in there and it's pretty fun. So I will also, I don't know, you guys, if I should string these on here for you and tie them off, or if I just add the string and then anybody who ordered it could do it themselves. Weigh in on that, I'll set the kit up with me not pre-stringing it, but if you guys think I should string it, then the person, all they have to do is literally tie it in a knot around their tassel, you know, that might, that might be helpful, I don't know. But let me know what your thoughts are on that. I'll get some still shots of this uh, hanging and also of what the kit will look like all put together. And I want to show you this. We talked about my using book pages or leftover scrap paper that I wasn't gonna use for the tassel kits. But if you guys remember in one of my friend mails, my friend Lisa from Treasures and Adventures, she buys storage units sometimes. And when she comes across crafty stuff, she gives it to me. And she gave me two big bags of these beautiful bags. And I thought, let me use these up first. And, cause I, I probably have a hundred of this color and of pink. So I'll use these for my tassel kits. Then when I use these up, we'll move over to book pages and you know, sewing them into envelopes and that sort of thing. So I kind of wanted to show that to you. Here are pictures of the tassel hanging and then the tassel and a kit. Thanks for watching. See you soon.